so now that you have our model completed we can start the simulation to do it you can come in file and create a new simulation from here or and choose this FM as an input or you can come here in new simulation and and choose choose a simulation using an X as an as a solver. So that's our folder. That's okay. So new simulation solver and X run and the kind of analysis is structural. So here we need to confirm again which solver we want, the name, the kind of solution, and it's pretty much the default of the values, you don't need to change anything. So now we are in the simulation environment, as you can see here, dot sim, that's a simulation file that has been created. Actually, we need to save it because we created the file, but we still didn't save. So this is the folder you want to save it. Okay, so now it's better. So if you go on Control Tab, you can see we have opened two po pre-post applications. One is the FM, and here you can see the statues for this window is displayed and work the FM is displayed and work in this application and if you change to, to sim you can see that the FM is being linked to the sim but now the displayed part and the work part is the sim so that means that our our set of tools here are simulation tools as you can see you can create constraints, you can create loads and whereas in the FM we had uh, mesh mesh tools mostly so let's create our constraints but before constraint this model we need to create some relationships between all these polygons that we have we have a series here of polygons some sheet bodies and two 3D bodies and we need to relate them somehow because they are in position but they are not linked together we need to glue the tube, we need to glue the side sheets we need to create uh, interface interfaces between uh, mechanical interfaces between these polygon, polygons that we have so one way of doing it for composites we can go in simulation object object container and here we can create some gluing so we can start our process from here so what do we want first we can simulate a contact that we can where you can define um, friction coefficient between two surfa surfaces or you can select gluing that's pretty much gluing the parts together so the nodes between the nodes and the elements in each of these components they are glued together they become like one so first one I'm gonna go for edge to edge gluing and here we, carry, we need to create our regions so source region what's the first region we go and create because we don't have a region yet and this region is this edge here so what I want to glue is this final edge here you see that there is a they are not there is a gap because our mid surface uh, approx approximation we have all these gaps here that we need to glue them now we need to fix this so our first edge is going to be on the low on the top part and we can also select the other one as well and go OK and select the target region so the target region 
it's gonna be it's gonna be a face actually so this is wrong I'm gonna go back I'm creating again I want edge to surface gluing here this is the option I want so let's create our edge this edge and this edge okay and create our surface our surface is the lower part of the main plane okay and then apply and you can see if the if the glue is correct by looking at these arrows that represents this this relationship so we have arrows in the um, edge coming from the edge here and we also have have a series of arrows in the I can see you can see arrowheads here we have this series of arrowheads in our surface so this was done correctly the next step is that I want to glue between faces now so I want to glue this top part of the main plane with the bottom part this one so we have this gap here to fulfill so we can do it simulation container a new object and I want now face to face or surface to surface gluing and uh, I don't want to do automatic pairing I want to do it manual it's easier to understand what's going on so source region it's great I want this face and I want this face here you guys gonna see this one so you see just that part and also this one so these two small faces because that's how it's done in the reality that's how the this main plane is built I uh, here the search the distance it is important to point out so the search distance that this glue is going to work is within a tolerance of one millimeter so if this gap is bigger than one millimeter this is not going to work but I know that's not that big so it's okay So you start to have all this series of these weird arrows pointing out, but basically meaning that the um, what we want to glue has been glued together. Okay, so now our main plane is constrained. Now let's go for the let's glue the aluminum supports in the first in the top part of the main plane in the bottom part. So same thing again, right button, new simulation object and I want now face to face, surface to surface. Select a region, so our region I want to be, so first works with the, I'm going to work with the top part, so the top part of this grip. If you keep our mouse, so I'm going to show you something, like I cannot select the top part of this support because I cannot find it is underneath this surf this surface green surface so but if I point more or less where it is and wait for a, mo a moment you can see three dots in the cursor so you can click while these three dots appearing and then it gives you some options so I want this surface and also this one let let's wait three dots this other one so now I have these two faces here in the top of the rib this aluminum rib selected I also want to select for the other one first wait for the dots second then okay this is my region in the next region is a region that we created before but I don't want to look for it I'm not sure if it was one, two or three so I'm gonna create again another region in the same that's 
the surface, the top part of the main plane. We created this before, but it's not a problem, it's easier to create it again. So one millimeter, that's okay, apply. You can see the arrows coming out from the from the rib, so this that means that's working. Same for the bottom part now. Let's create a region. Dots for this face. So wait for the dots and choose it. Okay. In the bottom part. But it doesn't matter if you click in the outside part of the inside part. It's a sheet body model, so there is no difference. Then apply. Same thing again. You can see the arrows. Okay, good. Now let's glue the side ribs. So now I'm going to cancel because I want a different kind of simulation contact simulation and it is edge to surface gluing what is my edge region is all the edge of this side rib so I can select all of them in just one region so I'm gonna go in polygon edge here you, you can see that you can set, you can choose element or polygon I want the entire polygon you can select your edge take a look if everything is orange it's not what everything now the everything selected okay one of these edges I also want these ones I can change the size of these arrows later because it's too annoying, it's too polluted but we can change it later select your edges Oops. I think I missed one edge on this side. No, the other thing selected. It's okay. Oh, here. Yeah, but it, it's not. It wouldn't make any difference. It's just a small, a small part. So we select a set of 22 edges, and that's okay. And the surface, what's the surface? The surface is all the inner part of this main plane. Why is it not selecting? Oh, because I'm selecting my filter, is polygon edge from previously. I need to change now, no selection filter. So this face. And this one, that's what we want. Yes, and also this interface here, and this one. Now is everything okay? Then apply. Now everything is glued together. Let's just change the appearance of all this mess go right click here and go in and actually need to select all your contacts and go in edit the display let's make it tiny yeah that's better okay so now we have everything glued, 
So let's apply the constraints. New constraint. I want a cylindrical constraint to represent the bolts that goes inside these aluminum ribs to fix the wing on the formula chassis. So let's select our objects. Four faces, and we can go on in each direction: the radial, axial, rotation, and axial growth. So all these three components of a cylindrical constraint, we want it to be fixed. Then we go apply. So we have. So now this is fixed. It, these faces are not going to move, and this is what we want. And we need to apply now a force. So according with the um, the rules for FSG, Formula Student in Germany, um, any aero component of uh, aero package of a Formula car uh, cannot deflect 10, mm 10 millimeters if you apply a load of 200 newtons in this part. So it needs to be that rigid. And that's what we are going to analyze if we satisfy these requirements. So, um, one of way, one of way of applying these loads could be on this edge here, because on this way, all the load would be the energy would be dissipated by trying to bend this wing. So what's the easiest way to bend this wing if we constrain these points? Is apply a load right here in this edge because it's the far edge from the main plane. And it's the far edge from the in the main plane from this fixed support. So for this if I apply here it's gonna have a um, not that big deflection. Not a big, uh, a big deflection as if you, uh, we apply the load in this edge because the momentum here is going to be bigger because of the distance. Uh, another thing is is that if you apply a load right in the plate, probably what would happen is that the plate would deform. So the by plate I mean this sheet. So this top this top part of this main plane so this sheet here this carbon sheet with three layers of carbon probably if you apply the load here you see that it's hollow there is a tube in the center giving structural support but it's hollow there is no support here we have support of this rib so this would be much more efficient to try to bend this wing um, so if I apply the load here, probably what's going to happen is that the load, the energy of this load would be would be transferred to deform this plane instead of bending the entire wing. And this is what's going to happen and that's what we're going to see. We can also make simulation uh, later, applying a load in the edge to see what's the difference between applying the load in the plate in, in this area, this square, and apply on the edge. So let's apply our load now. Load container, new load, I want a force, magnitude and direction, select the object, I want this face, and a, with a force of 200 newtons. Specify the vector. I want a normal vector to this. So you can see here, this is the vector. So it's pointing upwards, I want it to go downwards. Apply. So I have our load here now of 200 newtons. So everything seems okay. I'm just going to go through an explanation of how this tree works. So, before the solution, we have solution 1, 
you can create a new solution if you want you can create another one go here in solution and create a new one or the step subcase um, we can we can apply different we can solve for the same model applying different loads and to analyze how it behaves so this is the active solution at the moment the solution one and it took from our simulation object container the same the same gluing that we created previously and also takes the constraints and the loads that's this force only so it's okay the solution it's gonna give uh, the result the solution it's gonna solve uh, what we what we want that's these conditions and this is the results folder that's still not still gray because we don't ha we still didn't solve it so now that is everything okay you can go here right click and solve or you can just go here and solve and here you, you can have some options but it's everything okay for us uh, it's gonna take probably around two minutes to solve this model I believe if you don't have any errors so here is your solution monitor and the information that's given you regarding uh, maybe some errors or warnings and other stuff how many nodes you have so it's in progress completed it took just 27 seconds I don't want to go through these messages, I want to see the results. Results, structural, open. No results were, are found. Hmm. Yeah, so we had some mistake here. Let's find out what it is. 